the embattled governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emefile, met with President Mohamed Bari on Thursday in Abuja, where he is believed to have updated the president on the activities of the bank. The 25 minutes meeting with the president put paid to uh, speculations concerning Emefile's freedom. And the APS Bank's chief affirmed the January 31st deadline for the withdrawal of old notes. The CBN appealed to the uh, public to go and deposit their old notes. I think that the disbursement of the new Naira notes has been restricted to ATMs in order to ensure access to all banks' customers. All right, joining me now via Zoom, I have the CEO of Dairy Hills Limited, Kelvin Emanuel. Thank you for joining us, Emanuel. Jacinta, good evening. Hi, how are you today? I'm all right. So let's just, we just have limited time, um, Mr. Emanuel. But let me have your view. CBN is still insisting on no going back on January 31st deadline for phasing out the old Naira notes. Let's uh, share your thoughts on this. Yeah, Justin, there are about 2.7 trillion bank notes in circulation. 90% of it are the old notes. You have um, about eight to nine days to the deadline. In, in December, the banks had to work double shift, even on Saturdays. And you have a, a situation where the cutoff for introduction of the new notes into the banking system has not been achieved. And when you want to look at international benchmarks in the UK, for example, they give like 24 months. For example, the transition from late Queen Elizabeth to King Charles um, started um, early last year, and they have until middle of 2024 to phase out old notes. It's baffling that in Nigeria, you want to do this within a 90-day window, also considering the fact that um, a, the infrastructure for ensuring that there's a smooth transition is not available. So it begs it beggars belief, to be honest, how the CBN intends to achieve the making the old notes illegal tender by the 1st of February 2023. It beggars belief, to be honest. All right, Mr. Kelvin. Uh, I, for one, just recently got my 1,000 Naira new notes. What problem can you possibly uh, think that this can cause, knowing that not everyone has access to this new note, especially the market women and those in rural areas? Well, you know, this is the, this is the issue. Like, out of 209 million people, there are 63 million BVNs and about 133 million bank accounts, which means that there's about 3.8 accounts on a weighted average by account holder in Nigeria. 55 percent of your population is on bank. In fact, in states like Borno, there are about eight local governments that are cut off away from the banking system. Eight local governments. Um, in states like Yobe, for example, Yobe has less than 500 base stations. So you're saying that you intend to go into um, digital and electronic banking and transition into a cashless policy is futile because it's not something you can compel. It's something you have to incentivize the system on through the open banking framework of the central bank. That has been progressing gradually, but it's, you can't force it. You have to allow the system naturally evolve and allow the people to come into the banking system through financial inclusion. So I, I don't see how this is feasible. At the end of the day, I think the governor of the CBN and the um, Minister of Finance are due to appear before the Senate, even on the issue of securitization of ways and means this coming week. Um, I'm sure this is an issue the senators is going to bring before the governor of the central bank. At the end of the day, I suspect that they are most likely going to defer the deadline from January 31 forward, maybe until the middle of the year, because it, this policy, based on all the metrics I've mm. put together, doesn't make any sense at all. And these are not the issues that um, the central bank should focus on. The most pertinent issue in the economy today is inflation. And inflation that is caused by too much cash supply into the economy, inflation that is caused by um, the federal government having like um, a fiscal strategy uh, paper that relies exclusively on debts um, as a means for funding budget deficits and that has engineered the government to abuse Section 38 of the CBN Act. These are the most pertinent issues today on the front burner. And I mm. believe that this issue of cashless policy and um, change of um, NARA redesign of NARA notes is just misplaced priority, to be honest. Okay, Mr. What would you also talk about uh, the issue of this, especially these market women? Some of them don't even they get to reject these new Naira notes. They don't 
even think is something that should be out there, they get to reject it. Do you think there is need for an awareness? Yes, uh, there's a need for awareness. But even in this awareness, you have to understand that it takes time for you to disseminate information through to the system. It's easier for the people in the urban and semi-urban areas to get it because they have access to um, smartphones, they have access to TV, um, but it's not as easy to get the information to sink in in the rural areas. I mean, this is, these are the kind of notes that they've been used to the last 20 years and getting them to you know, get used to the new Naira notes will take time. And this is the reason why a 90-day window is short. You have to you have like at least a one-year window. You introduce the new Naira notes in phases and you allow the old Naira notes to stay and gradually phase it out of the system. But you saying that um, if a central bank saying that this is um, a way to fight um, right. terrorist financing and election spending, Mr. it's Mr. Kevin, I'm afraid, legal, I'm afraid, I'm afraid we're almost out of time. All right. Thank you very much for your contribution. As always, Mr. Kelvin Emanuel, CEO of Dairy Hills Limited. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. All right, Mr. Ibuko, can you say one or two things about this whole Naira thing? Just a few minutes. We are almost out of time. Oh, well, we are no, we're waiting for it. I have not seen one. Wow. Um, they oh. say, when is, the, when is the... When do they say you are 30, supposed to... 30, 31st. We are waiting. We are waiting. We'll get it, but I don't know whether it's going to help this inflation that we're seeing all over the world. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it's not a Nigerian thing alone. It's all over the world. Inflation is there. But whatever we can do to bring down this inflation, mm. we'll be okay. All this right. is it. Mm. All right, Mr. Joy Bukot, thank you for coming on the show. We really appreciate your contribution so far. Okay.